I started to cry. Kariston Kirkpatrick says her boyfriend's work vehicle was broken into Sunday night at Couch Park. They would smashed out the passenger side window and took my bag along with my wallet. Someone stole her driver's license and medical marijuana card. Unbelievable that it happened to us in Stillwater, really. According to Lieutenant TJ Lau, nearly 40% of car break-ins that happened in Stillwater this year involve smashed windows. It's a crime of opportunity. Uh, like I said, if you can keep valuables out of your car, lock your cars at night. Stillwater police says people should park in well-lit areas, keep their cars locked, take their key fobs with them, and never leave valuables or a gun in their car. Lau tells Fox 25 that 19 firearms have been stolen from vehicles this year, and only five have been recovered. But I know a lot of kids around here, uh, college kids or hunters or whatever, they may keep a gun in their car, but uh, we highly encourage you not to do so. Uh, just because, like I said, it, it'll give a chance for somebody to break in and the gun to get in the wrong hands. Lau says car break-ins happen more often when college is back in session. Reporting live in Stillwater, David Chasanoff, Fox 25 News.